Figured we'd do a little update on the Doodle Bastard today. Uh, this is motivated by my friend Parker Miller, who decided to comment on my lug stud changing video about it and ask about it, even though it's not in that video, which is called comment hijacking, buddy. Anyway, just picking on you. Here's a shout out, Parker Miller. Check him out, you guys. Uh, this video is a special one just for him because he wanted to ask about the Doodle Bastard, wanted a little progress video. So this one's probably going to be real short. I'm going to think less than two minutes. I'm going to give you a couple updates as to what's going on with it. And yes, I have been working on it, but not a whole lot. I've just been focused on other things. <laughs> and that's just one such other thing. There's actually been a lot of other things that I work on, too. But anyway, pay attention, you guys. Here you go. You've got a battery that I turned upside down here. This is what we're looking at. Uh, i got a bunch of pieces of angle iron. This should make the tray for the battery. I'll get this sucker welded together. All the cuts fit quite nicely. They've been mitered that way. And I'll be really careful when I weld it together that it doesn't shrink and that the battery doesn't fit into it. All right, there's my tray. Turned out pretty good. I have to admit, that welder was a great investment. All right, battery drops right into that tray. Then, I believe, I could take this battery and shove it right into this location here. And that's about where we're going to mount the tray. Just like that. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld it to the frame, and I'm going to weld a bracket onto the fender. So that way the fender is removable and separate. Looks like it just clears the voltage regulator. That was good. I think that'll turn out pretty good. I, I like what we have here. This is this is looking great. All right, using my Harbor Freight welder, which I thought I fixed, I very shittily welded this into here, and uh, I welded it up to the frame, and I welded a tab to the back. I'm gonna have to do it over again with the uh, Miller welder that I got because the Harbor Freight one just I thought I had it fixed. I wanted to give it a shot, so I had nothing to weld, so I was gonna try it on this and it just came out very very poorly so i'm going to do it over again but anyway it's welded up to the frame i've got a tab welded to the back i've got a hole drilled right through it and this has been tapped and i'm going to put a nut on the other side as well but the fender here is actually a very strong and good structural spot for that to bolt to so i can actually remove the fender by just unbolting here here and back here and the fender comes off but if i have it bolted together it's extremely solid and this battery can go right in here and it's much easier to do this with two hands versus one but there she is i was hoping to be a lot more finished on this by now but unfortunately so many other projects <laughs> have taken their time so um we're going to continue working on this one we're going to have some more updates um probably in the very very near future because uh it's going to start warming up here in florida come march so s february is going to be the last cold month well, it could also be cold in March. We don't really know, but if it warms up in March like I'm expecting it to, I really hope to have this thing out and about. I want to play with it. It's just going to be fun. And uh, I'm thinking about making a roof rack for the oval just for putting the Doodle Bastard on. I think that would be a good combination at a car show. little pit bike up on the oval. So that's something for future plan.